Hi everybody, I'm Hubmaster. You may remember me from other fine products like the 3D printed Apple II joystick. Now I'm bringing you a new amazing product, the floppy Emu2 case. What is this, you would say? Let me show you something. This is a normal Apple II disc two drive. And this is used to put the floppies over here and connect to your Apple II. Well, this product, it's a new version or um, replacement for the drive. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna replace, take out the floppy mechanism from here, also the front, and you're gonna replace it with this. Now, what is the big deal about this, you would say? All right, so this little device or this little case allows you to put this one, a floppy EMU, a floppy emulator. This is a big mess of wires product and it emulates an Apple II floppy uh, by inserting SD cards with floppy images. So you can just load them to the computer and you don't need disks. You also can um, load uh, HD images. So it's very versatile. You can do a lot of good things with this. So the story of this is that a few months, maybe years ago, somebody in the Apple Fritter community created this thing. And um, I was amazed and it was awesome, but I, I didn't hear any more about it. Um, what happened is that the person that created this was made uh, make, making it out of metal and it was very expensive and very difficult to make. So he stopped making it. So some friends of mine uh, reached out to me and told me, hey, it would be nice to get it again, you know, have it done again. And me playing a lot with 3D printing now and 3D design, I decided to give it a go. And after a few iterations, I finally got this. And I got to give a shout out to Michael Mendelssohn because he gave me the idea of integrating everything in one little piece. And I'm going to show you how it is. So what's different between this case and the last case that was designed before. The last case that was designed before was a little bit bigger, uh, clunkier, and you had to do a lot of connections, and also you had to do a lot of soldering to the uh, floppy emulator. This was thought and redesigned to be almost a drop and play. So how do we achieve this? First of all, we have several parts. So this is the, the case, the 3D printed case, and this is what will be provided when you buy it. Um, also, I will provide this little device. This is a, a little light dome or a, a light thing that will allow the light from the LED to show on the front. I'll talk about this a little bit later. So this is already integrated in here when you, when you get the basic uh, project. Okay, so these are the parts. This is the, um, the case, then we have a bigger LED. The floppy MU comes with a small LED. And uh, this one has the same functionality, but it's a lot bigger, of course. And this is what we're gonna put over here. We get rid of this one, we don't use it anymore. Um, in most of the configurations, you have to provide the floppy emulator. So the floppy emulator comes with this and this, the MU itself and a cable. So I'm just gonna put it on the side and I'm not gonna worry about it until the end. What this one, it, it will have is, of course, the case, the screen, a cable to connect the screen to the floppy EMU, and a little SD card extended cable. So you can, because there is a connector in the front, you gotta connect it from here to the floppy emulator. So these are actually the only parts that you will need. Uh, the, um, I'm, I'm gonna explain these later and how the configuration will come, the, uh, the three options that we'll have. But in the meantime, let's show how it works. So, so the case consists on, like I told you already, it has already this little light. It has four buttons, one, two, three, four. And the buttons are actually here on the back so you can, you can take the buttons out. It will come with them installed. And it's gonna be kind of easy. You got your screen over here. So you will come over here and put the screen. 
just click it in and very carefully you will be able to slide it in and it will stay there okay then you have your SD card reader so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the SD card reader and also very careful remember these parts are 3d printed so they're not the strongest things in the world so you got to be careful and don't expect everything to be very strong because once you break it you're going to have to buy another one there's no replacements uh maybe i can i can give you a, a you know some buttons or something like that but if you break something is uh, it's going to be difficult to recreate everything again and this part because it's a two color part is very difficult it takes a lot of time a lot of hours to create so you got to be careful with what you do these things um so you put it on the side and once it gets in straighten up and then just push 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 until it clicks you see it clicked and now it won't go out so this is already done then you will have to connect your cables And uh, this is a seven pin cable, male, female. The female goes into the LED and the male goes into the uh, floppy emulator. So you just connect these ones and there you go. Just make sure that the cables are next to each other. They are not mixed up and they just go straight forward. Then make sure your buttons are down and here it comes you put and be careful with it because when, when you put this face down the buttons will come up so you got to be careful with that okay this is a good part the floppy emulator goes up here okay so here's the way you do it you take your floppy emulator you put it over here in this ridge then flush it in the back and be careful over here and then when you got it flushed you push it down and it will go all the way down until this touches here. So there you go. You got it there. It's still a little bit, it moves a little bit, but it's okay. All right. Now at this point, I'm going to try to, to get you a link to a, a, a smaller cable, but this is the cable that I have right now. So it's okay. At this point, you just connect your SD card reader. goes in there all the way in and that's it you're done with that then you come over here and you got to be very careful here on the far side if you we can see it over here it's on the right there's the ground so the the white cable is the ground right now so um any cable that you're using just make sure that the color that you're using over here will go to the ground that is here okay so you actually have to move the cable the other way and then you connect white with ground okay and then you just put the rest of them the way they go so it's not difficult just make sure again that they're not mixed up Okay, they're straight they're not mixed up hold on oh this is mixed up you see the red is the last one and i didn't realize that so just make sure that is not yeah now they're straight they're not mixed up okay and then if you want be very carefully just try to bend it a little bit down it's gonna ma make it easier to get in that's it Okay, now we got to put this on the side, pull it up, push the buttons down, and you put, pull this in here. You will get in here, okay, carefully. Of course, this cable and this cable, oh, before that, we got to connect the last cable, the, the, the cable that connects to the computer almost forgot put it in same thing so 
Just make sure that you, you're gonna see some some little um, hard to put it in because the cables are in there, and you're gonna make, make, you're gonna have to wiggle them around until they get in. Be very careful over here. Okay, you don't want to break anything right, here. but it's not difficult. So you just push, keep on pushing. What you can do is you you can take it from the bottom here and try to put them together. Don't force anything hard. Just make sure that everything is going in there. Okay. And everything should go nice and straight. Okay. And just look what, if something is not getting in there, it's because there's something in the way. At this point right now, the problem is that the cable, it's touching something and it's like not let, letting it go all the way in. Okay, so that's what I was telling you, that you gotta be careful. So, just push it a little bit until it goes all the way in. And it's almost there. And again, the problem right now is it's this cable. And that's why I was telling you that you should push it in so it's flushed. And then this has to go like this. There you go, you see, it's it's getting better. Again, be, be careful with your buttons. You don't want to break them. And it's going to go in all the way. You hear? It's in, it's flushed. And then these two have a little indentation here. So when you push it in, it will kind of make a click. You hear that? And it's there. So now it's not moving. And now, when you push, the buttons work. Okay? Now for the cables, you, you just wanna, you know, make sure that you wiggle them around so they don't they don't go anywhere in, a, in the wrong place. Be careful here, blah, blah, blah. And you're done. Let's test it. There you go. At this point, my, my, my screen is a little bit sideways, so I, I, I can actually take it like this and move a little around, and that's it, straight enough. There's no SD card, so hold on, let me put a card. To put a card, just do the same thing, you know, the pins are going down, put it in, and push it with your finger until it clicks, and it's done. Then, let's do a refresh. There it is. And select. And there you go. You got a beautiful big mess of wire working front page case. That's the way to do it. There's gonna be, again, three levels. Option one, option two, and option three. Option one is gonna be just the plastic. Option two is gonna include the, um, the, the, the LED screen and these two cables. And the option three is going to be a full thing, including the big mess of wires, uh, floppy EMU with a case. Let's look at the light real fast so you can see. Should be showing that. Yeah. Well, I have a lot of light over here, but there's some light. Okay. So again, leave me any comments. Let me know what you think and enjoy your new floppy EMU 2. Bye.